Welcome friends and collectors, you've joined me just in time for another Diecast Emporium review. In today's video, we're going to be doing an unboxing and in-depth analysis of the 150th scale SpecCast International KB-8 tractor with a low boy trailer. The truck is in a vintage red and black color scheme, and the vintage trailer is predominantly black with some simulated wood decking on top of it. The item number, or stock number, is 39510, and at the time of this video's publication in February 2023, the MSRP for this model is just shy of $75. For those that are interested in the model's dimensions, get a pen and paper ready. It is 12.5 inches in length, 1.875 inches in width, and 2 inches high. Okay, let's take a look at the model's packaging and get it out of the box now. As you can see, it comes in the clear window style packaging. Speccast, the bottom, highly detailed diecast truck model, 150th scale. And at the top left, it reads 14 and up, meaning that this is an adult collectible diecast scale model, not in any way, shape, or form intended as a children's toy. Top of the box, spec cast, 150 scale and 14 and up. The side flaps have spec cast. And the back of the box, we have a paragraph which reads, spec cast has over 30 years of experience designing and manufacturing high quality, detailed die cast tractor and implement replicas. Thank you for purchasing our product. To learn more about our company and its products, please visit our website at www.speccast.com. And looking at the bottom of the box, we have SpecCast, all of their social media and contact information. Over here, we have the barcode as well as the description of the model, which I already read to you. And again, a warning that this model is for adult collectors. Okay, let's get this thing out of the box. Thankfully, this model does not have the modeler's worst friend in terms of twist ties. You don't have to deal with those. It is housed between two plastic pull-apart formers. Once you pull that off, first out of the box is the low boy trailer. And next is the KB-8 tractor. With that done, there is no assembly required, and you are ready to display your model. First, let's examine the details of the KB-8 tractor. The real truck was released in mid-1947, and it was a slight upgrade and replacement for the standard K-8. It had a 126 horsepower red diamond RED-361 six-cylinder engine. Okay, so let's take a look now at the details on the tractor. As you can see, the striking red and black paint job is very reminiscent of the 1940s and 1950s, and the paintwork is exceptional. You can see that the hood is hinged, and that's because it opens butterfly style on both sides, and we'll see that during the functionality chapter. The front of the truck has a chrome grille and a silver bumper. The wheel wells, as you can see here, they are plastic. And you do have a running area here for how to step into the cab. You can see in the back, the red spot here is diamond plated texturing and obviously all of your lines. Moving back towards the fifth wheel, you can see it there. And the rear tires have silver painted wheel wells. Speaking of wheels, you can see that the tires are very, very nice. They have a realistic tread pattern, as you can see underneath here. And a lot of the mechanical components have been faithfully recreated, including the transmission, drive shaft, a little bit of the engine, and the exhaust, to name just a few. The back of the truck has your single brake light, which again was pretty customary back in those days. And on this side, you can see the filler, filler cap lid, excuse me, for what I presume would be your fuel. Another working feature that you can tell already is the opening doors, so let's get that out of the way now, because doing so allows us to see an accurately replicated interior of the truck. And as you can tell, the doors open to a very good angle, so if you wanted to, you should have no issue getting a 150th scale figure inside the cab if you desire to do so. Alright, that's an overview of the tractor. Let's take a look at the trailer. Alright, here's our 1950s era vintage low boy trailer. As you can see, you can display it by itself if you want, and that is because of the single landing leg that is included at the bottom of the neck of the trailer. So again, if you just wanted to pose it without the truck, you can do that. Looking at the top, here is the aforementioned wood grain finishing, and these are plastic pieces which are painted to look like wood, and I think they look quite good. In fact, if you look at them up close, you can see the wood finishing in it. Your ramps are also wood, and they do fold down so that you can load and offload equipment, for example. 
Taking a look at the underneath of the trailer, once more, you can see that landing leg, the tread pattern on the wheels, as well as the kingpin. Over here, etched in the casting is spec cast made in China, 150 scale low boy trailer. Here's what the front of the trailer looks like, and here's what the rear looks like with a variety of different red lights. All right, let's assemble the two together. So we have our tractor and our trailer. You drop the kingpin straight over the top of the fifth wheel, and now the two are connected. Beginning the functionality chapter, you can see that the wheels will roll nice and freely, and the front axle on the tractor is steerable. Although the range is somewhat limited, you can at least get a direction going right or left. And as I always like to say with steering, something is always better than nothing. Let's cover the opening features once more. You've already seen the doors and how they can open to the cab, and they open nice and wide. All right, let's take a look at the hood now. And as I said, it is a butterfly style opening, which means they open from the bottom to the top. So here is the right side view. You can see the motor inside. All right, let's open the other side. There's the left hand side. So a lot of effort has been gone into getting the accuracy of the mechanical components correct on this truck, and that's something I can truly, really appreciate. All right, the trailer's functionality is, as I mentioned before, very, very basic, and that is just the ability for the ramps to load and unload, so let's drop them down. And let's bring in some era-correct pieces of vintage machinery. So first off, let's bring in a John Deere Model D tractor. Load him up on the truck. So that's what he would look like if you want to use this set to display some of your vintage farm equipment. But more often than not, this type of trailer back in the day would have been used to haul heavy equipment. So I have brought out a couple vintage models in 150 scale in my collection. The first up is a Cat D7 Dozer with Letourneau Blade. And as you can see, this is one of the best models to display on this trailer as it takes up nearly the entire deck and looks quite good. If bulldozers don't do it for you, and you want something of the rubber-tired variety, let's bring out a vintage Cat 966 Traxcavator. This model is by Norscott, and we'll load him up on the deck. Bring our bucket and loader arms down. And there you go. Now you have a vintage lowboy trailer with a wheel loader on top of it. All right, that'll bring this episode of Diecast Emporium to a close. In summation, the 150th scale spec cast international KB-8 tractor with lowboy trailer is an excellent addition to any truck collector or construction collector, even farmer collector's collection. You can display a variety of different pieces of heavy equipment. The trailer functions as it should, as well as the tractor has a bunch of numerous features including working steering, opening cab doors, opening hood, and the set just looks great together. I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a comment down below. Until next time, take care, be well. I'll see you in the next review.